UMass Memorial partners with multiple community stakeholders to address the high prevalence of asthma among school-aged children, reduce emergency department use, and improve absenteeism due to asthma in Worcester where rates of asthma-related ED visits are double that of the state. An evidence-based program launched in 2013 utilizes trained, culturally competent community health workers, CHWs, to assess and address asthma triggers in the home. The intervention targets high-risk asthmatic students in the Worcester Public Schools and Worcester Head Start program. Well, asthma is probably one of the most prevalent chronic conditions in pediatrics. Uh, it affects about probably up to about 10% of, of children, which is a really substantial number overall. Um, in Worcester, I know in our public schools, we have over 3,000 children who have asthma. Uh, asthma is probably one of the biggest reasons for pediatric ER visits, for admissions to the hospital, and in the schools, um, it leads to a lot of school absences. Yet because there is no cure for asthma, treating children when they are at school has become another important strategy. Currently, we have approximately 90 students who receive meds at school. This means meds at school that are daily meds that normally would be given at home, um, that are prescribed for once or to, use typically twice a day. But what, has, what we've already seen in the, in the short time that we've been working um, in this capacity is, is a significant decrease in ER visits, inpatient hospitalizations, and um, again, the overall health and well-being of children with asthma. And the reality is that if we're able to manage their asthma appropriately with these controller medications and by avoiding triggers, they should be able to do everything that a child without asthma can. <music>